Hello everyone, my name is Geraldo Arturo Uribe Bueno. I'm from Dominican Republic and I'm here in Taiwan in the language center of Fuda studying Chinese. So far, my experience has been wonderful and I hope that you can come here too and learn Chinese. choose Taiwan. It's kind of a funny story because um, one day I was driving back home uh, from school and I was listening to the radio and in the radio they said that the government was giving scholarship to students uh, between the age of 18 and 24 and as they were saying the uh, requirements for the scholarship I was saying like I have that, I have that, I have the other one and I was like Oh, I'll be the perfect candidate, so no problem there. Then, after I go back home, my mom told me, Did you hear the news? They're giving scholarships. And I was like, Yeah. And she said, You should go and apply because you already know this many languages. Chinese is going to be a good one for you. So, yeah, I applied and then I got the scholarship. And then I'm here in Taiwan. <laughs> Well, my study is going really good so far, and I think it's because the teacher's method. I think it's a really unique method. If you come here to learn Chinese, you wouldn't get bored learning Chinese because there's always something new to learn, and sometimes you go out, sometimes you interact with other people. What I like the most is that there are a lot of international students here, and me and my friends, uh, if a Taiwanese student here in the university invite us to their activities, we can go there and uh, share our experiences without any problem. Also here in the university, they have uh, clubs. For example, if you want to go hike or if you want to go uh, skateboard, you can join these clubs and you can interact with these Taiwanese students and also international students. Go together, go hike a mountain, go skateboard, and you can improve your Chinese and it's such a great experience. Um, yes, actually the biggest challenge living here in Taiwan, I would say is the food, because for someone who just got arrived here in Taiwan and see all these small vendors in the streets selling their food, the food actually doesn't look that appealing, but, uh, and also the smell of the stinky tofu is actually worse. So they wouldn't dare to try the food outside and they would just go to another store. And maybe for a couple of weeks they wouldn't try it, but eventually you will have to try the food outside and then you'll realize that the food here in Taiwan is actually really good. But for some people, the food can be a really, really big challenge. Well, students from my country, I will tell them do not bring anything unless it's really necessary because the things here in Taiwan are really cheap and are really useful. You can find that anywhere actually. Uh, although I would say you should bring winter clothes because if you already have winter clothes then it's fine, you can bring them. Because the weather, the winter here in Taiwan is actually pretty pretty cold and it also rains a lot here in Taiwan so if you mix winter and rain together it gets pretty cold and my country isn't that cold so this would be a big difference for us Dominicans. Thank you.